who came up with the term ugly phase? You may be starting your locks for the wrong reasons and I'ma just keep it a buck. Welcome back to my channel, Simply Key Simone. If you are new here, I want to say welcome. And if you're returning, I want to say welcome back. As you can tell by the title, today we are going to be talking about why I started my locks. And I'm going to be spilling the tea and just giving y'all just a little bit of insight before you start your lock journey, if you have not already. So if that sounds like a conversation that you are ready to have, please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post bell notifications to all so that you do not miss another upload from me. And also do not forget to follow me on Instagram at underscore Key Simone and let's just hop right into it. Before we get into the juicy details and all the tea that I'm ready to spill in this video, I just want to draw attention to this a lip color that I'm wearing today from Merit Beauty. This is their signature lip lightweight lipstick in the shade 1990. And y'all know I like a good brown nude lip. Like anything that's brown, nude, neutral, I just, I just really, really love it. So when you receive your package from Merit Beauty, it is going to be in this clean, recyclable box and you will also receive this very cute brown core bag to include all of the products that you used and here I have received 1990 and the shade baby from Merit's new signature lightweight lipstick line. As you can see, the packaging for each signature lightweight lipstick is very sleek and cute. This formula is so, so smooth. It does not dry out your lips at all. And these shades complement my skin tone very well. If you are interested in these shades and this new launch, please use my link down below in the description box. And let's just get right back into the video. Okay, so falling right into the tea about the locks. So first, I want to start off just by explaining why I started started my locks and then I also just want to give y'all like a little tidbit that I feel like should be said or I feel like you should at least hear before you start yours. So if you have been following me for a while or if you have been subscribed to my channel for a while then you will know that I started my locks back in November 2018 and to be honest that is so crazy to say like I literally just had to think like dang that was 2018. It was 2018. I just celebrated my three year lock anniversary this past November so I'm going on four years. Yes, yes get into it get into it to be honest i wanted to start my lock journey way way and i'm gonna be dramatic because it's it's dead I mean, i'm dead serious i wanted to start my lock journey way before i did i ultimately started my lock journey because i felt like that i was truly doing something for myself i was able to plant a seed when at a time when i was just i feel like rebuilding my my mental and my emotional health and to be honest my locks were something that i could take with me in that journey to watch grow as well as i did and it was just truly freeing to not have to worry about like how other people wanted to see my hair or how other people enjoyed seeing my hair because to be honest um if you've seen my lock journey video i will leave that up in the cards you will see that I, I, you know, I had the curly fro um, and everybody loved it. Like it, it was cute, you know, it was, you know, on trend, I guess, really. And, you know, to be honest, I, I, lo I loved my loose natural hair. I will never say that I did not love my loose natural hair. It's just that I was ready to, you know, do something new, do something for myself, do something that was completely and 100% my own idea and just something that I, I truly wanted to do for years. I can't even remember the first year that I thought about starting locks. I've always thought that locks were beautiful. I've always thought that locks were attractive. Um, since I was like in middle school, to be honest, cause that was like back in the days when everybody was like, dread, dread. <laughs> but it was, that was like back when it was popular and then I felt like it kind of got like unpopular and then got back popular. But I've always wanted locks and to be honest, Anybody that I confided in, and I'm, I'm gonna say this um, because it's true. Anybody that was, you know, close to me at the time that I confided in about getting locks, everybody, everybody discouraged me. 
except for I feel like there were like two or three people that did not, but most people discouraged me from locking my hair, to be honest. I got comments like, aren't you gonna ruin your hair? Aren't you scared you're gonna ruin your hair? You're gonna have to cut all your hair off when you don't want them anymore. Like, why would you want your hair to be nappy? Why? Like, it just, it wasn't giving support. <laughs> it wasn't, you know, giving what I would have liked to you know receive as feedback but everybody has their own opinion everybody is entitled to their own opinion and that is completely fine to be honest i feel like whenever you're thinking about making um a change for yourself that has to do with your physical appearance um it's definitely okay to reach out for opinions um it's definitely okay just to you know ask people what they think but at the end of the day the decision should be yours or whatever you do when you lock your hair or if you you know get braids or you get some type of color or whatever it is that you want to do to your hair the decision should ultimately be yours um i'm not against asking people for their opinions but hey when you ask people for your opinions, that's what you're gonna get, their opinions. So you should take that with a grain of salt, you know, take it in consideration, but don't let it weigh too hard on your decision and what you wanna do. And ultimately, I just felt like I, there had been so many years in my life that I did not do something for myself or something that was not influenced by someone else's opinions or influenced by um, my line of work at the time or you know influenced by family friends whomever it I felt like I was liberated almost I've always been like a people pleaser and I felt like this was something that you know I didn't have to worry about pleasing anybody else because I was pleasing myself like I said, I was on, you know, an emotional healing journey. You know, I was growing, I was becoming a different person. I was blossoming into the woman that you see before you now. And I felt like that was the icing on the cake to start my lock journey. And here we are today. Short, sweet, to the point. Now, the tea for you or whomever that you know, uh, maybe getting ready to start their lock journey, do it for you. That is the main thing that I have to say. Do it for you. Right now, I feel like locks are, um, like there's a hyper focus on social media with locks. And to be honest, it is such a beautiful thing. I, I enjoy seeing other women on social media, men too. Um, I enjoy seeing people on social media that are, you know, celebrating locks, you know, celebrating the look, celebrating being natural, celebrating embracing yourself you know how you are naturally and that to me is a very very beautiful but i do feel like <laughs> oh my goodness y'all don't don't fry me up but i do feel like that people get caught up in i guess the the hype behind locks and i say that because it's it's popular now it's trending right now there are a lot of people on social media who have locks and it's you know glorified and although it is nice to celebrate all of these beautiful people of all different color shapes and sizes with locks you cannot idolize these people's locks like it i feel like that is part of the reason why some people want to start their lock journey and i say that because some of the questions that people ask me or some of the statements that people make when they're you know telling me that they want to start their log journey or you know that they've been thinking about it for a long time um one of the top things that i get is the ugly phase like nobody wants to go through the ugly phase and i hate that word i was just um talking in the comments with one of my subscribers or um you know somebody who was watching a video and she was saying that she was scared to go through the ugly phase and i said let's not call it the ugly phase let's call it the baby lock phase like who came up with the term ugly phase? I feel like if you say, if that's even a thought in your mind, I feel like if the length, the frizziness, or, um, you know, just the process of starting, you know, itself is an issue for you, you may be starting your locks for the wrong reasons. And I'm gonna just keep it a buck because if you truly, truly, truly wanted to start your locks, you know, for a deeper reason, you know, other than the physical aspect and trying to emulate what somebody else looks like on social media, you wouldn't be concerned about the 
quote unquote ugly phase. To be honest, now I'm not gonna say that it's not a change because it most definitely is. Um, again, this is what I looked like, you know, two or three weeks before I started my lock journey. And this is what I ended up looking like afterwards. So I did suffer a lot of shrinkage and I did not start from, you know, a TWA. Um, and it's funny because uh, <laughs> one of our friends, he used to always joke with me and be like, oh, you you a fake dreadhead, you a fake dreadhead. And I used to just be like, how am I a fake dreadhead? And he was saying that uh, jokingly because I did not, you know, cut off all my hair or do a big chop. He was basically commenting on the fact that I did not start off you know, with a teeny weeny afro. I did not cut off all my hair in order to start my journey. I didn't know that that was a prerequisite to start the locks, okay? I did, I did not know that people felt some type of way about people starting locks when their hair um, was already a longer length. But like I said, at, if you watch my lock journey video, you would see that even though, you know, I had some length, my hair still shrunk up so if i was that type of person that was concerned i would have considered that the ugly face um and that's just one of the things that like i like i said that i run into that i hear and i feel like like that shouldn't be the real concern to be honest what's most important is that you you know you're doing this for yourself you're doing this because you feel like that it is a journey that you can begin and you know grow with because you're you know your locks are growing and you're going to be growing and transforming as a person and to be honest like i hate to always make it sound so dramatic but it really is it, it truly is it it takes that power back from the media and you know what for years and years and years that black women have been told that they you know their hair was too kinky or their hair was too curly or their hair was too puffy or their hair was too frizzy and you know we were getting relaxers you know wigs all these all these things to have like a more european look and now that it's it's glorified and you know it's made more beautiful and i feel like that's what made it a movement to be honest and i feel like if you have not actually sat with yourself and had sort of like a deep talk like talk to yourself now <laughs> i mean don't go out in the middle of you know walmart and start talking to yourself but i mean really like go inward and try to decide why it is that you're starting your locks everybody doesn't have to have a specific why but if you have a superficial why I just feel like I'm it just it just makes it harder if it's not something that you you know truly been wanting to do and something that you are committed to that you know starting off and changing your appearance so abruptly like it's it could possibly it could, it could hurt some people's self-esteem and it can make some people feel very self-conscious about themselves and i feel like if you have to go through those beginning stages feeling self-conscious or you know covering up your starter locks with wigs or you know anything like that there's nothing wrong with that at all if you just want to go for a different look you know for a certain amount of time but if you're doing it because you're embarrassed or you're doing it because you're self-conscious it's like why did you really start your lock journey you see what i'm saying because it's uh, it's almost like and i can i can equate um i can relate this to this scenario because I was one of these people when I was young, when I was in middle school, anytime that it was time for me to get my hair trimmed, I was scared. I was like, you know what? No, I'm not going to the hair salon. I, I would tell my mama, put them scissors down. We, we not trimming my hair. We're not trimming my hair. The most important thing was, you know, the health of my hair to, to get a trim. That's what I should be concerned about is the health of my hair. But I was more so concerned about the look. So it's like, do you really want your hair to be healthy? Or are you just trying to have long hair to look like someone else or emulate someone else or, you know, feel more confident? It has to be a deeper reason or meaning behind it. Or you just have to find, find it beautiful, truly beautiful. And when I say beautiful, truly beautiful, I mean from day one, to 
day whatever. You see what I'm saying? It's, it has to be something that you want to do for yourself, for one, or else you are not going to enjoy the process. You're not going to find the beauty in you growing with your locks. And I feel like that is the most important part of the journey itself. And to me, it was the best part. And that is the 100% honest truth, okay? So, I just wanted to drop that little that little bit of knowledge on y'all. Like, I didn't, I didn't wanna make this, you know, too long and drawn out and luxury. I just wanted to plant that seed in your mind so that once you are ready to start that journey or if you've been contemplating, you will be able to take away or you will be able to discover the true reason behind you know starting your lock journey everybody's lock journey is different your locks are not going to look like my locks no matter how you start them you can start your locks with coils they're not going to look like mine they're not going to look like somebody else's on instagram they're not going to look like somebody else's on tiktok you can start your sister locks and they're not going to look like you know the 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 girl you saw on Facebook that's selling oils like I just want to make that apparent so that you don't make a decision that you're ultimately not going to be happy with for some time until you achieve the look that you're going for <sighs> that was my TED talk thank you for coming to my TED talk today <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I truly do want everybody to enjoy their lock journey and I want everybody to feel beautiful and I want everybody to just, you know, embrace their natural self in their most natural state. And that's what, you know, truly makes me happy. That's what, you know, why I wanted to start making lock videos. That is another, that is a reason why I wanted to start my YouTube channel in the first place was just to help people. And why not help people with something that I could truly relate with, with, you know, a journey that I'm currently on myself. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope that you got something from it. I hope that you can take away something from it to, you know, digest later. You know, don't don't get too too down now and be like, oh shoot, now I'm down myself. Just just give it some time and give it some thought and truly be able to enjoy it from day one on to however long that you are on this journey for. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram at underscore Key Simone. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post bell notifications so that you will be updated every time I post a new video and I will see you all in the next one.